when you were cast, the headlines, uh, ours included, were all, you know, the first Black Bachelor is cast. But I want to make sure that we're identifying you correctly. So do you identify as Black or biracial? Uh, that's a good question. I identify as Black because I am, you know. It's like, if you didn't know me personally, you wouldn't know that my mom was white. And I don't have a tag on my shirt or a sign on my head that's saying, like, my mom's white. Like, you, you, if you see me, you're like, oh, that's a Black dude. Yeah, that tall Black guy in my class is like, it's like, no, that biracial guy, it's like, I don't present as that, you know, that doesn't mean that's not who I am. But my experience has been as a black man. My mom is white and my dad's black. Mm -hmm. And I experienced what it was like to be uh, a product of an interracial marriage. And it's yeah. tough because you've got people who have certain views, old school views yeah. on what a relationship and what love looks like. Can you speak a bit to how you have been impacted by your upbringing, having a black father and a white mother? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just, it's taught me to look for qualities instead of a, like a physical appearance. Like it, if, if people weren't open to biracial relationships, I wouldn't be here, you know? So my stance on that is different and my life experience is different because uh, I'm the product of that. So I look at it differently than someone who's never been in that type of relationship. Hopefully throughout this experience for me, it becomes uh, something that people are more open to and, and 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 normalizes it. You got people who are cheering for you to find love, mm -hmm. and then you got people who are cheering for you to end up with a specific person, a specific person of a specific race. I That's something that that kept me up at night. It's like I don't want to piss off black people. I don't want to piss off white people. Has that dawned on you just how big of a deal it is that you do have this platform and the impact that that can have on viewers at home? That I felt that pressure. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, initially, and then I just doubled down on um, the way that I was raised and, and my upbringing. And that's what has made this so easy because I can only be myself, you know, that's all I know how to be. And I can't be a version of myself that I don't know. I can't be a version of myself that someone wants me to be because that wouldn't be authentic. And the theme for me this whole season was just to be real and be authentic. And that's what I did. So obviously Tasia's season just ended and one of the standout moments when she was on a date with Ivan and they had a really organic, candid conversation about Black Lives Matter. I'm curious, how is your season going to address race? It's going to be talked about and it's something that's important. Pressure that I put on myself just being the first Black Bachelor. In what way? People want you to end up with a certain type of person. It's a conversation that needs to take place because there's things that I've experienced and uh, that our kids are going to experience that you've got to be ready for. And uh, it's just going to be a reality. And, and even uh, taking a step back from that, just in general, to have that conversation, there's no education without conversation. And like, you can't expect people to know how to maneuver or where you're coming from or to understand you if you don't talk about those type of things. And we had some of those conversations and they were positive because we made them positive. Did you have a hand in casting because it is the most diverse group of contestants that the franchise has ever seen? That added to the allure to me, you know, it's like they don't need to be told how to do their job. Like I feel like I gave them enough to work with and I was very pleased with all the women who were there and they uh, beyond exceeded my expectations. And again, it was it's like you forget that women like that are single because they were so overqualified and never some one that I thought I would meet in this type of experience, you know. Do you know oh how to play gosh. chess? Of course. I was in chess club. Were you really? I was in chess club. So you were a nerd. That doesn't mean saying. I was great at it. I was <laughs> in it though. What was the first time that you felt like you saw yourself represented on screen? I don't know if it's representation. It's just more so someone that I want, I admired and I wanted to be like. And that was definitely like Will Smith watching The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air watching the Jamie Foxx show, like two super talented individuals who I respected, you know, they were, they were in music, they were entertainers, they did, they did comedy, like they just, they, they were so talented. Those are the type of people that I aspired to be like. Um, and, and I saw, and when you said, when you mentioned representation, like that's what it looked like.